Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another devotional from the Psalms. Uh, this week, we're looking at Psalm 13. Let me move my picture here over to the corner. And in Psalm 13, uh, we're going to look at an interesting question. The question is, does God hide? Now, I like playing games, and a very classic game is hide and seek. I love playing hide and seek, but it's a little bit difficult whenever you're an adult, whenever you're big, you don't get to hide in as many places. But what about God? Do you think God hides? Well, in Psalm 13, David says that he feels like God is hiding from him. He doesn't feel God's presence. Whenever he's reading the Bible, he doesn't feel like God is with him. Whenever he is praying, he doesn't feel like God is close by. And there's many difficult things going on in David's life while he writes this psalm. People are teasing him and making fun of him as well as feeling like he's alone. But Psalm 13 is a short psalm, and it closes in a sense of hope. Even though David feels completely alone, he confesses that he is going to trust God. Let's take a look at verses 5 and 6. David says, even though he feels bad, but I trust in your unfailing love. So the idea of trust is, even though it is scary, even though it is difficult, David believes that God is going to help him out, that God is there with him. He says, I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Now, when I think of unfailing love, the Bible talks about God loving us as a father loves his child. Now, our mommies and our daddies are not perfect, but a lot of times they love us so much they can't express it in words, and their love is almost unfailing. But God's love is perfect, and David trusts the unfailing love of God, even in a difficult situation. And the last verse reads, I will sing the Lord's praise for the Lord, excuse me, for he has been good to me. And whenever we think about God being good to us, well, we must think about him sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins and to defeat Satan so that we could have power over our sins, over death, and of course, over the evil one, the devil. So I invite you to trust God as David trusted God. I invite you to sing to God and praise him as David did, even during difficult times.